Hi, this is Dave Phillippe here with FabCAD, and we're going to show you how quick and easy way to do a gate layout and to simulate the gate swing to figure out where, how far the embed needs to be cut, where you may want to set your gate operators, and various other sundry things that may be associated with this. So, what we have set up here is field dimensions of the two columns. These are, we just simulated a uh, concrete column with a little insert in here just to make things a little more interesting and have an embed that is welded to a center core post. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to draw a line. Let's draw a line from the midpoint of, no, let's draw a line from here. Not the embeds because they could be variable in, in, when they penetrate one column to the other. Then let's draw a line from the midpoint and let's say we want to make the gates, this is going to be a, a double swing gate, we want them one inch apart so we'll offset one side a half inch, 0.5, so after the gate's mirrored it'll be a one inch gap. Now that's the reference for the end of our gate. So I am going to change the color of this line so I know what I'm looking at here. I'm just going to change it to red. So that's my reference line for the gate. The other line is a reference line for the, the center point, the mirror point. Now, so let's say that the gate has got a two inch wide frame. So I'm just going to use a rectangle command to draw that. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle. And I'm going to do it uh, at 10 feet. The width goes first, 10 feet, comma, 2. And that's a 10 foot long piece, two inches wide. So I'm going to move it over. And I'm going to move it from the midpoint here to the midpoint there. And then I'm going to go ahead and stretch this back to our reference line here to the intersection there. It's going to need some more movement because we've got to put a hinge in here and then do a gate swing and figure out exactly where the hinge needs to go. So let's go in and find a hinge. So I'm going to go to the library. Let me go, I'm going to go to the Lawler boundary catalog and I'm going to go to miscellaneous shapes and in here we got a seven inch hinge so I'm going to right click and insert as block okay drop that in right there I'm going to close this out don't need it anymore alright so here we have a hinge that's got the front view and the top view so I'm going to explode this I need to use the top view right now, I'm going to move this out, well I'll leave it where it is, I'm going to move this over and set this to the back side of the gate, so the midpoint there to the midpoint here. So that's my hinge. You could set this up so you have a specific opening that say the your customer or the specifications call for a 92 inch swing open or something like that, you could do that, let's just do that so you can see how it works. So I'm going to do a rotate command, and I'm going to rotate this part of the hinge, this part here, and right click, and the base point is the center of the hinge. Let me take ortho off so you can see there's a, there it is swinging around. It says, says at the bottom here, it says specify rotation angle I'm, or reference. I'm going to click reference. The reference length is zero. I'll hit enter, and then the new angle, I'm going to say 92 enter. Alright, so the gate's swinging 92 degrees. So if you have a specific rotation you have to have, you can dictate that right there. Now I, what I want to do is move this over to, to a distance where I'm comfortable in relation to this column. So I'm going to move, I'm going to hit P for previous to select what I've already had, and i got to add the rest of the hinge here, and then move it over, say, let me put on ortho so I move it straight. Say to about right, right there. That's where I want to go. Okay. So then what I want to do next is I want to trim off the embed. That's my cut line there, and I'll trim this off here. All right. So now I'm going to swing this thing back around. So I'm going to rotate this here and this. Now I pick something here I don't really want to rotate. I'm going to remove that from the command. Hit R and enter and remove this piece here. Now you notice you say well it's it's butting against each other. No, the, remember the top piece is swinging over top. 
that's the way this hinge is designed okay so it, cl it just shows it swinging like it's butting next to it but it really is not all right so I remove the objects and I'm ready to execute the command so it's a specified base point that's the center of the hinge reference I'm going to click R for reference the reference is 92 and the new point is 0 I bring it back to where I need to be. Now what I want to do is go back now and stretch this frame to where the reference point at the end of the gate is. Perpendicular. I'll use the perpendicular snap. Perpendicular to there. Alright, so now I have the length of my gate leaf, which is 8 foot 10 and a half, and I also have where I need to cut the embed from here to here, four and seven eighths. So when you build this thing and you go out to the job site, you tell your guys go over to the column, measure four and seven eighths, cut off that embed, weld the hinge there, hang the gate, and leave. You don't need to have a whole lot of people out there to do that. You can save some because you don't have to clamp everything together with a spacer in between, hold it all up there, and do whatever you do, mark it and cut it. If you've got the measurements right, that should work out perfectly for your gate simulation. And then you can do your gate swing and play around with your, your gate operator and the arm, and you can figure out exactly where the attachment piece needs to be and see how everything works with that in relation to the column and you know, and simulate any particular aspect of this in order to speed up your fabrication and also your installation. Take care. Bye.